Let me get this out because I told you I was going to have to read these right to you. Yeah, I still don't understand them, but go ahead. No, I'll read them to you. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll read them to you and I'll, I'll go through each one so you understand. Okay, so there's no confusion. I, I never understood them, so. Okay. <laughs> okay, you have a right to remain silent. Okay, you understand that one? That's kind of like what you were just explaining to me. Probably is that you not, I mean, you have the right to not say nothing, period. Okay, you can drink your soda and they say nothing whatsoever. You haven't more hurt me than anything else. Will it hurt you? I don't know. Because, I don't, again, I don't know what you have to say, okay? And the next one is, anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. So that explains to you that everything we discuss here, okay, could be used against you in court. Okay, that says can and will be used against you. It will be used against you, can be used against you. Okay. You have the right to talk to a lawyer, have him or her present with you while you're being questioned. So if you want to say, hey, I want a lawyer, you're not going to get one until Monday, until unless you can afford one to come in right now, but we're not going to talk to you. Okay. And one, I mean, then we won't talk to you at all. If you can afford to hire enough one, a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any question if you wish. And that's, again, where if you can't, afford one, then one's going to be given to you come Monday in regards to Cindy's case, okay? And then if and when you guys decide to talk with us, you and your lawyer, then you can or you won't, one of those two things. Do you understand each of these rights I've explained to you? That yes, no, maybe? Yes. <laughs> don't, want to, don't want to drown you now. Okay. It's, it's, it's got to help you to to have people know that you care about, you know, what happened and, and that you're yeah. sorry and everything else. I'm not a killer. Because, I mean... I don't want to be, and I really wish that I hadn't seen what I've seen. Well, not only because I'm sitting here, it's just, that's going to be on my mind for the rest of my life, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I had something I'd like to picture it again and again, you know? Yeah, I wouldn't either. Do you give me any more thought to about, uh, What happened out on uh, Daggett Road? Not really. What can you tell me about that? I don't know what I should tell you about that. So he goes up to the driver's side and shoots? You know how many times? Then what happens? I don't remember much after that. Is he, well, how many people are in a car? You said two, I think, right? I think there was. Probably should have remained silent, huh? I don't know. I mean, you, like I said, you're, like I told you, I mean, we already know what happened, okay? Now it's your version. I mean, are you happy about this? Uh, no way. Were you happy about it then? No. Uh, Let me ask you this. What kept you... Twelve years ago, I think. Is that one? Thirteen years ago? Yeah. What kept you from going to the police at that point in time and saying, look, my friend's a psycho. Here's what he just did. The psycho himself. Because you're concerned, what, for your own safety? Oh, yeah. I understand that. Okay. Other people understand that, too. Okay. That's kind of what I talked to you about before, that if people don't know what motivates you or what keeps you from doing things, they ain't never going to know. Because all they're going to hear about is from West's side saying, this is what we did, and it ain't nothing about, this is what just I did, is what we did, my homeboy and me. See my picture of my homeboy, you know. Do we have to keep talking? Well, I'd like to. <laughs> I know you don't want to, but. <laughs> I don't. I really don't. Well, that's your, I mean, that's your, your choice. That's, I mean, if you don't want to talk more, that's fine. Uh, we can, we can stop. Like I said, you know, after, I mean, once you go in tomorrow, whether or not we'll be able to talk about anything anymore, I don't know. And there's just, like, 
like you and I know, there's other stuff to talk about. We mentioned it to you the other day, okay? And if it's something that you have knowledge on, like I said, I, 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 we won't go into all the details. We won't, you know, you just give me a little bit, and I'll, I'll talk to the district attorney about it. About the uh, about the Indian that was shot. What? You don't know nothing about that one. I don't know anything about anything. You don't know about anything else. As, as, as a, even the limited amount of time I've dealt with you, I can read that face. <laughs> it, I mean, okay. Is it you don't know anything else, you just don't want to talk about anything else? Not my time. Okay. Right. <clears throat> I remember. Yeah, we were there. Which one? The one with the Indian dude. You were there? What happened on that part? Well, he killed that guy. Why is he saying you did it? I don't know. Okay. Tell me. So, I can fit his story and your story. Who are we going to believe? Well, to tell you the truth, we were coming down the road and he seen some dude laying lay on the side of the road, kind of like you know, out of his car or something or his or something. We turn around and Wes robs him and, and kills him too. The dude was so drunk that the dude would have never known nothing anyways. But Wes, he had to kill that dude. Yeah, I, uh, it's just too much, man. Kill somebody for 45 bucks. He killed somebody for less than No matter what, I hope you guys believe me because, I mean, he is like this. Well, and that's this type of person you're dealing with. He is like a, he's a cold-blooded killer. Yes, sir. He has no emotions. Yeah, he's a cold-blooded killer, man. I don't know if you guys can understand why I've been so scared of him so long. I understand that. I've been scared of him. I've told my wife that only one person in the world scares me. Time to lock his ass up, huh? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Been time a long time ago. Yeah. Wish it would have been done a long time ago. I don't want to do so much. I know. Like I told you before, it starts now. We're going to be putting him away. I want to see a on death row, honestly. Yes. You told me you needed my help to put him away, and I know you did. You said trust you. Gotcha. And out of everybody I'm trusting you, Tony. I know that one. More than anybody. I'm right here. And Joe's pretty cool. I'm trusting Joe, too. Both of you guys. I mean, I'm trusting you guys more than anybody. During September of 1985, do you know of any girls or anyone that West Sherman Tyne had killed during that period of time? That must be the one. And how do you know that? Because I can't think of any other. Well, Mike, you, I can't is this an assumption? It. Are you just assuming he killed her, or were you there, no. or did he tell you about it? No, there was a girl he killed. And how do you know that? I said, well, I was with him. That's what you need to tell me. Uh, or, I'm trying to. Okay. Uh, there again, my details aren't very much. Very give, me very what, give me what you can. I don't remember how he picked her up or whatever. I just remember that he killed a girl and then stabbed her to death. I don't know where he left her. Did you try to stop it? Lauren, you need to talk to him. No. no. Did she ask you to help him? Did Wes ask you to help him take care of the body afterwards? No. What happened to the body? I don't know. First time that you saw Wesley Sherman Tyne kill anybody was which case? The Indian. The what? The Indian guy. The Indian guy. That was the first. Yeah. And the last? Last time? Was 
Say you better. Right. Okay. Earlier you told me about your brain being mush. <laughs> it feels right? like it is. Yeah, it feels like it. But you know where you're at, right? I'm in jail. You're in jail, and you're at where? What office is this? It's the sheriff's office. All right, this is the sheriff's office. You're aware of that. You know what you're booked in for? For murder. For which case? Cindy Van Hyde. All right. So you're aware of what's going on. Everything you've heard, all these, the other officers, the talking police officers and us, you understand what's going on here, is that correct? I think I believe so, yes. Well, you say you believe. It's either yes or no. What don't you understand? Let me clear yes, that up. I, I understand. All right. The rights that they read you yeah. earlier, you understood those, right? Yeah. Because we read it to you over and over again every time we've made contact with you. Right. And you understand those completely, correct, Lauren? Yeah. Have I been fair to you? Yeah, I'm saying that. Yeah. Has Joe been fair to you? Has yeah. the sheriff's office been fair to you? Yeah. The Stockton Police Department, have they been fair to you? No, no, no. Oh, I, my voice always gets a little bit high. All right? But I just want to make sure that we have to be fair to you. And uh, you know what? We have to be fair to us, too. Have I been fair to you guys? Yes.